Hello everybody, we're making pizza bites tonight. Tonight we are making meatball pepperoni pizza bites and we'll be right at it as soon as Steven makes it here to be with us. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grease that pan. Who wants to do that first? I'll do that. Now there's 16 of these biscuits. So we're wanting it to go a little quick. So we got two cutting boards out. So we're gonna see how that goes. And, then, and I wiped this table off good before we got over here. So it's sanitary. Yeah. Thank you. So I, right, here's another. I'm going to start rolling it out. I got my rolling pin here. You can go ahead and throw that away if you want to. I'm going to try to roll it out pretty good. We've never done this dish before, and I'm really not a very good hand at rolling stuff out. All right, I'm going to hand that to Michelle. She's going to put the pizza sauce, pizza sauce and cheese on it while I start trying to roll another one out. I'm going to put the pepperoni and the meatball on it. Now I'm putting one, pepper, uh, one pepperoni on there and one meatball. And I'm going to pass it on to my dad. Now I'm going to try to roll this up. And hopefully make it look pretty. I've never made this before, so we're all new at this. Thank you. There, Looks very good, honey. I think I uh, did this one differently than I did that first one. It seems like it did better. Make sure you pinch your edges together and uh, roll it into a good ball. Now, Michelle, if you might need to, I'm going to get a paper towel where I can wipe this cutting board off uh, when I have uh, biscuit, dough left over. Bis biscuit dough left over. And I'll tell you something else I could do. And I don't know. I wanted to do a few more and see. But I might go over there to the pantry and get some flour and sprinkle this cutting board with flour. And that will help the dough to not stick. So it's kind of sticking a little bit to my cutting board, a little bit to my rolling pin. But it's nothing that I think we can't handle. I'll 
change it. All right, give me the pink thing. Michelle's trying to uh, one-up me here and rolling it out with her fingers. See, she's got a woman's touch. That's why you need a woman in the kitchen. We got enough dough to make 16 of these. I don't know how many, how that's going to look in the pan because we've never done this. But what's fun about this is that the whole family is getting involved in doing something. You have the little tiny kiddos helping. This brings back memories for me. Uh, making them uh, little pizza lunchables minus the meatballs. So this is uh, a little nostalgic for me from when I was a little uh, kid. I got a rolling pin right there if you need it, Michelle. I'm just flopping it out a little bit to get you started. I got a little pizza sauce on there. Sorry, honey. I'm, I had him change the order. Well, it is... Uh, a catch-22. You want as much sauce as you can get in there so it'll taste good. But you also want to to be able to wrap it without getting sauce all over the place. So there's a a very uh, fine line fine line between failure and success. But not everything in life has to be perfect. Not everybody can have a a sweet, perfect little woman like I got. There's only six biscuits. Well, I got another can. That makes twelve. Twelve? Yeah. There are really just six? Yeah. Well, see, I'm used to them uh, crescent rolls. Four, five, six. Well, that's fine. Seven. There, there is uh, just uh, six. Seven. Well, it says eight on the. This one only makes seven. One, two, three, four, five, five six, six, seven. Yeah. I don't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's what I said. Well, I don't know. Did we? We didn't mess up anywhere. We didn't throw one away. I don't know what happened. We'll have to do an instant replay and see. Did, did we use? Hillsbury shorted us a biscuit. I don't know. That's six there. Two more, seven, eight. One of these might, might have been, one of these might have a double biscuit. No, I found it. It's a good thing I didn't throw that away. Oh, okay. It was in the can, can when I threw it away? Yep. Well, this one can be Nicholas's. <laughs> Here you Here's go. Here's your paper towel okay. to wipe your, uh, wipe, wipe my thing. Yeah. It really wasn't in the trash. It was in the bottom of that can, so it didn't touch nothing. Let's see here. Oh, here you go, I here gotta you. wrap one up. I'm gonna uh, show you step by step how I'm doing this. I'm taking these two end pieces, and putting them together and doing a pinch. Then I'm pulling this side up, doing a pinch. 
and then this side over here up and doing a pinch and it looks just like that i could probably bake it like that if i want to it kind of looks like a wonton at the chinese restaurant i could probably do it like that but i'm wanting these perfectly round biscuits you know ish yeah round ish you know we can uh have them folded like that at the Chinese house when we go there, but we are going to try to do roundness. That's good. Are you sure? Oh, okay. yeah. There you go. Oop. All right. Now, Nicholas, do you think that these are going to be fun to eat? Yeah, they're going to be fun to eat. They're going to be good, too. Tell you, I love this purple uh, cutting board. I love using it. It's got a handy handle on it that makes it nice. Whoa. About hit that glass bowl. Glass bowl. Now, Michelle, she don't like pepperoni that much. It doesn't like me because she gets heartburn and she, we're only using one slice of pepperoni because Michelle doesn't want the taste to overwhelm. I wanted to put four slices of pepperoni for each ball. So we did a compromise and we did one. Did one. So So you can make it how you want to. If you want more pepperoni, you can uh, definitely put more. Definitely put more. You could put probably put uh, brown sausage in these. So. I'm not for sure how I did that one. I, I'm starting to think the way you're doing it, Michelle. I wouldn't even have to use this rolling pin. I played in a lot of Play-Doh when I was little. I, Michelle's having too much fun over here. She is really playing with it. Why, why don't you just go ahead and do, do both of them? I found an air pocket in there. 
By the way, these are the flaky biscuits. The Grand's flaky biscuits. There you go. It's almost like musical chairs. Without the music. Yeah, without the music. Or the chairs. Or the chairs. Now, Nicholas, when you go to your nanny's, you can show your little brother how to do this. What, what, won't that be fun? But you might have to wait for him to get a, a little, older. little older, maybe. How old is he, Nicholas? He's five, but he's attached to uh, the electronics. That's okay. Well, I'm going to quit talking about him because I might accidentally say his name or something. So I'm just going to hush. Because they might not want him mentioned. But it's still something fun you can do with whoever. Nanny. Yeah, with your nanny. She cooks. Yeah. You know something when you go to Sean and Leanna's that might be a fun thing for you to do there. Oh, here you go. There's that. I'll tell you I think when these come out of the, the oven, these are going to look good. Now, when I, we started this, I had no idea how many was going to fit on this round pan. Hopefully, they'll turn out really good. I don't know if I'm messing it up, Michelle, but it seems like some of these I'm finding thin pot uh, spots, like that one there. Yeah. I don't know happening. if I'm the I don't know if I'm the one doing it. No, it's probably me. Not paying attention. Yeah. Try not to let it be uniform. Uh, if we have one out of 16 that isn't perfect, then we did a good job, didn't we, guys? Yeah. I have the dog's attention. I think I should have not even bothered with that rolling pin. I'm doing a better job just using my hand. He's got one ready for if you want him in the cup. There you go. There's that one. You know, when you start making them, it just goes, you know. I'll tell you, we're going to bake these in the oven. But I just got a feeling that these might be good deep fried. Or in the air fryer. Maybe. But we've seen them done on in the oven, so that's what, how we're going to do it. One biscuit left. Right, here's your cutting board. And we got the perfect, we got exactly the right amount of uh, the stuff out. That's yeah, right. That's right. Looks like we got one extra pepperoni though. No, it's going to go on that one in no, your hand. No, there's two in the bowl. No, there's just one in the bowl. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Then it's the bowl in there. You must have went through what they call an optical illusion. 
Yes. I've got two here ready. All right. Let's go down with Now, you're supposed to have a bowl of marinara sauce to dip these in when they're done. Well, we got plenty left over here, so we can always dip it in that. Yeah, we do, and I got a whole other can. Put one there and one there. So, boy, that pan turned out to be the perfect size. size to do this. I love this round pan and I've had it since I graduated high school and it, when they built the new Myers store in Richmond, I went there and found this pizza pan and I bought it. So that's where that pan came from was, it came from Myers. Waste not what not, folks. Last one. All right. Sixteen minutes. Sixteen minutes. All right. Now, you're wanting uh, to brush them first, right? Right, I'm going to brush them, and then I think there's a salt grinder over there next to the stove, and we can uh, salt them before they go in, too. But we're going to uh, use this. You made garlic salt butter, right? Yeah, I made garlic salt butter. All I did was use good old country crock and a little bit of garlic salt. Now, do you want to do the honors, Michelle, or do you want me to do it? Man, look at that. Look at that beautiful butter footage. Man. I'll tell you, folks, this right here is going to be good. Uh, Nicholas, he's going to remember eating these, and he's going to tell his grandchildren about it. And, and look at that. There's some garlic butter left over. Someone wants to dip their nuts in that. And they're going to tell their grandchildren about it. Don't put any more I wouldn't say that. Now, Hold on, you got a so uh, salt? I'm bringing it over here so I don't have to stand and bend over the table. Oh, okay. Well, I totally understand that. I think that's probably perfect. Now, how about pepper? Do we want to put a little bit of pepper on mm -hmm. the top? No, I don't think so. I think there's probably enough flavor inside. Okay. Well, I'm going to grab the camera and we'll go over here to the stove and we'll uh, put our bites in the stove. Put our bites in the stove. I'm just going to do it like this, follow Michelle over there. Oh man. The box or the container says 16 minutes. I'm going to put them in for 15 and check them. Oh the, man. We thinned out that biscuit dough. Now, Michelle. Yes. Can you tell our captive audience how easy was this project? It was very easy, especially with three hands. I could probably have done it by myself, but it would have taken a lot longer. 
All right, Nicholas, come over here and stand beside Michelle, and I want you to tell your experience firsthand. It was fun, like I said, brought back a little nostalgia from uh, my childhood making uh, pizza lunchables because it was really similar to that. Um, I think these are going to be good, real easy, real quick to make, and uh, if you uh, need a quick family meal to feed a lot of people, I recommend this because it's easy and it's fast. All right, so if there's a father out there wanting to do something fun with his son, would you recommend that he go ahead and do this on a weekend or something? Yes, definitely. All right, well, we'll catch you in a few minutes. All right. Fresh out of the oven, people. Man. I'm excited. Man, they're hot. I want to use a fork on mine. Try my first bite with some of this garlic butter. I'm gonna try some of mine with marinara. Oh man. That is good. Like that is really good. I haven't even got to the middle yet. So far it just tastes like really good cheese bread. Here it is. You got your cheese and stuff, your meat, and here's your pepperoni. I, I got everything in here. Let's see what it tastes like now. Oh my god. Pardon me. Oh my gosh. I mean, it was, it was really, really good. The bite I tried, but with the filling and stuff, it makes it like 10 times better. It doesn't taste like biscuit. No, it tastes like... It tastes like a pizza dough. We bought these... Um, Meatballs from Walmart. No, nope, we got them at Save a Lot. That's right, we got them at Save a Lot. And they were already made and already frozen. We let them thaw to at least room temperature. That way they would be hot in the oven, not still frozen. There's really good. I wish there was a way that we could have fit two meatballs in each one, but they would have been hard to hard to fold up. Fold up. Man, that was really good. Highly recommend. Let's see here. I know I can eat another one. How about you, Nicholas? Oh yeah. I I can definitely eat another one. Why don't we do that one time? Do you guys have anything else to say about these? Well, I think I'm going to uh, 
try all the ones around the outside first. These in the center don't look like they cooked as well as the ones on the outside. And I, what do you think, Michelle? I was going to try one of the inside ones when I got done. The, the bottoms one. look really brown. But I would like to finish this, eating without the camera. Yeah, I would too. But I'm just saying, did the center ones get a little bit more of the uh, garlic butter, Michelle? They might have, and they also might have been rolled a little thinner. Yeah. Well, anyway, we're glad that you joined us for this evening. We're going to finish eating, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.